In this video, we'll be making a synthwave song in the style of Gone Console, and that's because Gone Console is my synthwave project. So what I like to do is to start with the bass line. It kind of sets the groove for the whole song and the feeling. So just before I forget, I'm going to label this track as bass. I have a go-to synth that I like to use for my bass, Korg Poly 6. I'm going to tweak it later, but to start, I'm just going to go to bass, fat line bass. I'll just go ahead and start creating a bass line. So in the editor's window, in the piano roll, I know I want to use the key of D for this song, and I know that for bass, we want to go to about a D1. Very first note will be a D. So we'll hit command and click to put that in there. Now we're just going to mess around until we find something we like. Turn on cycle to loop it. A couple things we can do while we have this open. Quantize the rhythm. Let's quantize the scale. I'm going to crank the velocity all the way, 127. tweak that sound a little bit. And I'm going to add some effects, chorus. We'll just simply duplicate that here. Let's add some drums. I just like to use the Lin drum built in with Logic. Okay, if you start to zoom out with this, it'll give you a list of all of the different drums. So we can see right here, kick one. And then we're gonna do snare, snare one. And I'll throw on snare two. We'll do hi-hat closed for this. We can throw in a clap. Let's duplicate that. Of course, we'll be adding in fills and gated reverb to the snare, some sidechain compression to the bass drum. I'm only going to have that clap go, let me see, every other time, I think. Let's hear that. What I'll do now is try to make some pad chords. We'll call this one pad. So I'm going to use the Tal Noisemaker. And there's a preset here in pads. Dream of 86. I like this one. I encourage you to tweak the presets to make them your own, but they're definitely okay to use to get started. What I'll do is we'll just option drag baseline here. To start off, we're going to move it up a couple octaves. It's in D1. Okay, just put it over to D3, and we'll make these into chords. we can further sort of tweak the rhythms. So now, in addition to the pad, I'm going to use another Korg here for the piano, this time the M1. What we're going to do is change the rhythm on the piano now. Don't want to forget to rename it, so this one will be M1. We're going to add some EQ real quick. Now, every good synthwave song needs to have uh, an arpeggio of some sort. Call this track ARP. We'll use the U key zebra lets, another free one here. I'm going to mess around with that synth until I find something I like here. Okay, so now we have the uh, arpeggio, and if you uh, didn't notice what I did there, after I chose a sound I like, I was able to add an arpeggiator, which is built in with Logic. So now we're going to add a lead. I think I'm going to reach for another chord. I'm going to go with the Arp Odyssey. Right off the bat, we have Authentic Lead. Let's hear that. But I'm not going to leave it as these chords. 
I'm gonna try to make it sound a bit more like a lead. We'll be adding in some more notes. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate that and modify this a little bit to give it some variation over here. What I'm gonna do is actually not have these start until the fifth time in. Also not gonna have the ARP start right away. And maybe we'll have the bass start, make those parts a little longer. So we're gonna drag these over. And I'm going to actually make one more lead track just because I like to have a lot of layers. We're going to go with Dext here. This is a awesome free Yamaha DX7 plugin. So we have the verse. Repeat one more time after that one comes in. So we'll just give it a one, two, three, four on the bass drum as a simple transition into the chorus. And I'm just gonna copy over the drums from the verse. Like, let's create a new bass line. Let's mess around here. And so we're gonna repeat some of that same process here, starting with our pad. That one we wanna make into chords. Let's do this the easier way. So we're gonna copy that down here as well. See, sometimes less is more. It's not about what you put in, it's about what you take out. You see, when you make the notes longer like that, it gives it more time to go through the whole scale and octave. Okay, I think I'm gonna add in a lead there as well. layer it so it'll go over here. Maybe those two will come in at the end. I want that one to be more classic synth sounding. Bring it back around with that four bass drum kicks. Just gonna make it extend it out just a little further. There will be a part two coming up soon. If you wanna see more videos like this, take a moment to consider subscribing and please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see you soon.